Green Gregory Sharp, the shipboard chef. I have this great opportunity today to be foraging in Westport, and I have a local expert, Mike. Hi. Hey. He's going to take us out, and we're going to go forage for, well, hopefully for beliefs, but you never know what else we might find. Mike, what do you know about this area? What can you tell us? Well, we're standing in the Westport Light State Park, 600 acres of wooded canopy over this pine forest, and the beliefs grow very well in the pine thicket. They pop out this time of year after we've had a good rain in September and October's mushroom month around here. And it is a perfect habitat for the wonderful porcini or king beliefs. Oh. I just show up and it's like heaven. Well, you know, what we're actually trying to do is we're trying to feature that with our surf and turf meal that we're gonna do tonight with seafood and cranberries and hopefully the beliefs. And when I was here three weeks ago, we were delivering a classic wooden yacht, the Taconite, down to Ensenada. We poked around a little bit, but I'd heard Westport was so good for mushrooming, but it was still so dry. So I'm so glad that we can do this today. Your timing's perfect. They're just starting to come out. Nothing wrong with perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go find some. I'd love to. One of the reasons I think this pine habitat is so good for the porcini or the king balis mm -hmm. is, is this bed of needles here. Mm -hmm. It's so thick. And so they grow up in under it. They have that insulation. And then we're looking for them as they're coming out of those mm -hmm. needles. It's kind of like hunting for agates on the beach. Your eyes kind of train for a shape or a color that right. shouldn't be where it is. Check these out. First I saw this one, but look, oh. another oh. one. Is that, you step over that one? I must have, because I was so focused on this one. Those are perfect oh. in every way, white under the cap. Look at this, twinning. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're just perfect. You're not going to believe this. This is only the first one. Here, and here, and here, and there, and there's a couple more over there. Oh, Look man. at the three right there. Holy moly. This is like insane. I, I just. And they're perfect. They're perfect. <laughs> oh my god. These are insane. Look at that. I think we have more than enough for dinner tonight. What do you think? Oh, uh, looks great to me. And you are joining us, right? Definitely. Oh, good. And these guys are joining us. And as much as I want to spend more time mushrooming, I got some other places I got to go. I need more ingredients for dinner. I'm Corrine, shipboard chef. Nice to meet you, Corrine. Nice to meet you. It's my husband, Pat. Pat, I'm your captain. I get a drive her the shipboard chef around. Fantastic. You ready to pick some cranberries? Oh, yeah. So here is your scoop and your bucket. Let's go out and see some cranberries. How fun. So I've never been to a you pick cranberry farm. What is that all about? So I think that they are very rare, and in fact, I might be the only one. When we got the property, it was full of scrub. No one had been on the property for years and years. We pulled all the trees and come to find out we had about five and a half acres of acclimated cranberries. Oh, wow. Now we literally just weed them. We do everything by hand. Even the way that you're going to pick your berries now is over 100 years old. So welcome to the bogs. Hello, bogs. When you scoop, you just glean off the top. Welcome to the land of plenty. I love this. Oh my gosh, look how pretty these are. Exactly, see how many you've already got? Thank you. Thanks Wanda, this was so fun. Enjoy your dinner that you're making. I hope they all do. <laughs> okay, so if you remember, we picked these incredible beliefs today and we're gonna actually use those in our meal tonight. So thankfully, Mike came to join us for dinner. So I got a sous chef and he's gonna actually clean these little babies for me. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim off the stuff that's not pretty. We're going to clean off the dirt and then I'm actually gonna cut them into slices and we're gonna grill those babies and not do much with them other than grill them and make them wonderful. This is Westport, known for surf. So we are going to do a Westport Surf and Turf. Mushrooms and fillets go together, right? Surf and Turf would not be complete without the surf. And these local spot prawns are from Seafood Connection. They're like the lobster of shrimp. So we're really, really happy to have them. They will not take much cook time. And they've been marinated with a lot of garlic, some 
uh, champagne vinegar actually, oil and mustard. Not for very long, but we're just gonna put them on, flip them and call them good. Can I just say that I have had the most spectacular day today? We've gone mushrooming, picking cranberries, we've done the seafood thing, a winery tour. It was a full day. And I've only cracked the surface of what Westport offers. So I hope you will join me and join the people at Westport because this is the most amazing experience and I couldn't be happier. The most amazing thing was I was able to actually harvest my own cranberries from an organic cranberry farm to make this beautiful cranberry infused deglazed sauce with a little bit of horseradish that just complemented everything. Where else but Westport can you put all that stuff together on one plate?